So why van? Well, van is a way to tell if someone is having a very large stroke. And we know stroke is the number one cause of disability. And large artery strokes are the most disabling. Van allows us to identify these patients early and give the patients the best possible outcome by making sure that they are treated with TPA right away and then triage to endovascular suite for stroke thrombectomy. Stroke thrombectomy means pulling out the clot and it has been shown to increase the number of people that are functional uh, after a large stroke. So we'll be going through multiple things in this lecture. We'll talk about the new endovascular stroke trials and because um, that's very important. Uh, new triage and paradigm shift. What does VAN stand for? In short, it stands for cortical symptoms, which are vision, um, aphasia, and neglect. Aphasia, the inability to understand or to produce speech. Neglect, meaning you just neglect one side of the world. We'll go through the brain anatomy. We'll talk about the difference between large vessel stroke and small vessel stroke, or of people that are functional uh, after a large stroke. So now we have to discuss the paradigm shift. So this is what we need to do. We need to realize that stroke, if it's an LVO or large vessel occlusion, there's a big clot and a big artery. These patients should get TPA and go to the neuro IR suite right away. Just like an ST elevation MI goes to the cath lab. Okay. We know non-ST elevation MIs go for medical treatment and non-large vessel occlusions go to just TPA. So how can we tell if there's a large vessel occlusion? Well, you can get a CT angiogram, but do you delay getting a CT angiogram and going to the endovascular suite by getting a CT, giving TPA, waiting an hour, going back for CTA? No, I think there has to be a way to identify these patients early, which is what VAN does. Identifies these patients early so you can get a CT, CT angiogram right away, activate the neuro IR team, give TPA as you're going up to the endovascular suite. So this is the old model which is seen throughout the country and throughout the world. You get a CT of head, they come in at 20 minutes, TPA decision within 45 minutes, maybe a half hour, uh, you, you start the IV TPA, they go back to CTA 60 minutes, they wait for, the, for it to be processed in the read, so you, they call neuro IR around 60 to 90 minutes, and Best case scenario, you're in, you're in there within 120 minutes. The new model is you do the van exam right as they come in. If they're van positive, you do CT, CTA of head at 20 minutes and page neuro IR or transfer center right at the same time. You still give TPA at a half hour to 45 minutes, so that, doesn't, that shouldn't be slowed down at all. Um, uh, the only thing that might take time is perfusion imaging, but we're only advoca adver um, advocating for CT angiogram. If it takes less than 10 minutes, then we just give the TPA and we um, put in the 20 gauge later. And then your goal is to be to the neuro IR suite or the transfer process within 60 minutes care. So this is our model. Anyone with an NI stroke scale of greater than or equal to six, or we're using VAN more now, or they have cortical symptoms, which is what VAN is, visual disturbances, aphasia, or neglect, they automatically page neuro IR and stroke. And instead of just a CT of head, we get a CT angiogram of head and neck with the CT of head. So we're basically, instead of making the TPA decision, then going back to CTA, then calling neuro IR, we do it all at the same time. This is the same thing, everyone up to six hours, but wake up or unknown time of onset, right? Because unknown time of onset could have been only an hour. Wake up, it, he could have, the stroke could have happened at six in the morning, he woke up at seven and it's only an hour in. So it's very important, unknown time and wake up should activate the stroke team and um, perform a VAN exam and an NIH stroke scale to see uh, what, if the patient is eligible for 
um, some other treatment besides TPA. Who needs to go di directly to a facility with interventional stroke capability? I'm thinking someone who's VAN positive, or if your area uses the RACE score or LEG score or Cincinnati Pre-Hospital Stroke Severity score. But I feel VAN is easy. You don't have to calculate any numbers and it's a yes or no, and uh, we've used this, and for us it's worked uh, just as well as these uh, other screening forms, and we feel it is uh, easier, and we feel currently it is more accurate, but we're collecting more data. So perform fast as usual and, and a van to get a fast van to stroke care. 